Well, well, well. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome, welcome to your saltwater guide, Captain Dave Hanson. I'm going to kind of try to stay off of the sh show so you can see the new member to our family. We've officially adopted this little feller. We've been waiting, going through all the proper channels, but we have a rescue marmoset monkey. And this is what we've been trying to talk about for the last couple of weeks. This is our new member to our family. I'm talking kind of low because he's super scared. He was a, a family bottom and they had no idea what they were getting into. So there he is. That's our new little rescue monkey. That is our new little rescue monkey. His, we need all of you to help us. We need to come up with a name for this little guy. So he's super cool. He's just trying to calm down. He he was living in a house with a family and they didn't know what they were in for. They bought it for their, their son who was very young. And these guys require a phenomenal amount of time and a phenomenal amount of love. And I think this little guy won the lottery by falling into our house because he's not going to be loved any more than Kelly could possibly love another animal. So now she's got three children to take care of. Kelly's got to take care of Finn the cat, our new little monkey, and Captain Dave. But we're talking quietly today because we don't want to scare her. He's a really cool little monkey. Come here, little buddy. Come here. You want a little bit of banana? Come here. Come on. Get a little banana. There you go. Have a little bit of banana. All right, everybody. There he's, he's trying to calm down. So what we're trying to do, gang is we're going to try to come up with a name for the little guy, but you're going to get to watch him every day. You're going to get to watch him on our show and you're going to get to watch him grow up and we'll be putting videos up about our little monkey. And eventually he'll be going out on the boat fishing with us. He's super cool, but he's a rescue monkey gang. We had to rescue him from a family that didn't know what they were in for. So this is our little rescue monkey. Come here. Kelly and I have done all the research. We've made sure we have the right food for him because of our good friend, Justin Botrell that you see on our show all the time. He's very connected in the zoology world. So we have the right food for this animal, the right vitamins. He's going to be very well taken care of, right, buddy? He's going to be in a good spot living. We got him a beautiful home. This cage is gigantic. It's three stories tall. He's got plenty of toys to play with. He's going to be just fine. You're going to get to watch him grow up with us he's four months old he's just the coolest little coolest little dude we're very very happy we are very very happy to introduce you to our new family member come here buddy what's up there you go yeah so that's our new little buddy we need everyone across all social media to help us come up with a name for him so you can leave your comments We'll post a video every day about the monkey and how he's doing and how he's growing up. And we'll let you all watch. Y'all be a part of his life. And as he grows up, oh, he doesn't, he's camera shy. He just went underneath the blanket. But uh, I just need everyone to help us figure out a name for the little guy. Because Kelly and I are, can't figure out what to call him. So come here, come here. But um, gang, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about fish and I know he's cool. Thank you all for joining the show and watching him. And I hope you all enjoy him. Keep, keep watching and leave some uh, stars, leave some badges, leave some tips over on YouTube for helping us raise this little rescue monkey, this little rescue marmoset. When he's full grown, he's only going to be about 12 inches tall. And I know you're used to me talking real loud when I talk to you guys, but we have, to try to calm him down because his little life to start off with wasn't very good. He was living in a house with a bunch of little kids that were screaming and trying to touch him and feel. I don't think it was a good way to start his life, but I think he's won the lottery. Now we have all the papers he's chipped. The only person that can have him is me. He's perfectly related to my passport. And we're going to take super good care of him. We got a really good vet down here. He got all checked out. We haven't put him on the show yet because we wanted to make sure he was ours first. And he is ours now. 
We 100% have adopted this little marmoset. And like I said, we do the show every day. So you're going to get to watch him grow up. And then uh, we'll be posting videos all the time about what's going on with him. But gang, I wanted to talk to you about fishing here while you watch him cruising around and having fun. Gang, the the uh, carnage is sitting out in front of Avalon. They have a full load of squid. And if you follow our game plans at all, you know that there's some nice sea bass to catch over at Catalina right now. I wouldn't take that bait and go all the way to Clemente just because there's nothing there that isn't at Catalina. There's yellowtail at Catalina. There's really good calico bass fishing. And then there's a uh, sea bass fishing. And if you don't know where to go or what to do when you get to Catalina, you can simply go to our website. Oh, here you are. What are you doing? Come here. You can go on our website, yoursaltwaterguide.com. Check out the uh, game plans. Also, all the spots that you need are right there on the game, on the website, yoursaltwaterguide.com. And you, you dial you in if you want to go catch a sea bass or yellowtail or anything like that. We got all the spots available for you. And um, the key to that sea bass fishing over there at Catalina is to get to that spot and fish through the tide. We talk about tide so often on our show and how important tides are. Well, there's some really nice tides this weekend. You just got to go get your tide chart and check it out. You want to be over at Catalina and you want to be on those spots fishing through that tide. There's some really big sea bass to catch on the beaches over there. So I would say... This is a good weekend to get over there and get get on this bite. You got a good chance of getting on the bite and getting in there and getting some getting some nice sea bass, gang. It's gonna be a good weekend for fishing. You got all tangled up in there, blanky. All right. So I hope you all enjoy our little little friend. He's a he, I guess he's a little camera shy. He crawled up underneath the blanket there. Trying to get him out. But we'll uh, check back in with you guys. Come up with as many names as you can for the weekend. And we'll we'll be late reading them and checking it out. We don't know what to call him. And we haven't decided on a name yet. So you can all help us to try to figure out what this little marmoset's name is. <laughs> He's stuck in there. Oh, come here. Come here, little buddy. Little buddy, buddy. You little buddy, buddy. Come here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I know it's a fishing show. But gang, there's a bunch of fish to catch on the coast too right now. The water seems to be getting a little bit warmer and things are getting a little bit better along the coast. So the calico bass are perking up so they got that going on it's going to be a great memorial day weekend although sunday afternoon and all day monday it looks like we're going to have a lot of wind on friday and saturday though it looks like you got a very good chance to get out on the water and have a good time with the game plan that we have presented for you guys i don't think you're going to have a problem finding some fish to catch over there it should be a good weekend of fishing it should be a really good weekend with the nice weather and the nice bait and the carnage being full of squid. I think you got a good chance. I can't believe he's so far wrapped up underneath this blanket. Silly guy. But should have a really good weekend of fishing. If you play it, pay attention to the game plans. You fish proper fly line or sliding sinker with the squid on it. You got a good chance of finding some fish over there to catch. Come here, buddy. Come on. Now everyone's worried about you. You got to get out of there. What are you doing in there? Now you got to get out. Nope. He doesn't want out. <laughs> he doesn't want to get out. All right. Well, that's what happens when you got a monkey for a pet, I guess. He's up underneath those blankets and he doesn't want to come out. Yeah, we're going to teach the little monkey how to go fishing with us. He's going to go out on the boat and fish with us. Yep, we're, I'm answering the questions as they're getting asked. But yeah, I, I'm pretty stoked that we were able to rescue this little guy. 
because the situation he was in wasn't real good for a little baby monkey. No, it wasn't a good thing. But now he's in a really good spot. I think he's going to get very well taken care of living here with us. I think everything's going to be good, huh, buddy? Yeah, everything's going to be good. Yep. It's a good place. It's a good place for a monkey. Huh? It's a good, good place for a little monkey. Yeah. Much better than where he was. Yeah. There he is. There you are. You little shield. Whoa! He's out. <laughs> there he is. So... Check us out, yoursaltwaterguide.com, for a more comprehensive game plan. If you're going out fishing this weekend and you don't have a plan, I'm telling you, you need to have a game plan. You have to have a plan if you're going fishing. Come here. So if you want a plan, if you want to have some spots, if you want to know where to go to catch fish this weekend, you got friends and family coming out on the boat and you want to go fishing this weekend, you're going to want to have a good game plan. Go to yoursaltwaterguide.com. We take care of everything for you so that you can be successful when you go out fishing on your boat out on the water. Yeah, come get some banana. Come on. There you go. Now you're feeling better, huh? You got out of there. Yeah. Yeah, he's a pretty cool little buddy. He's got so lucky that Kelly agreed and... I was more than happy to take him off those people's hands. And Kelly agreed that it, we should grab him and take care of him and raise him right in the right house. So this is our little rescue monkey. We just need a name for him. He's a marmoset. He's never going to get any bigger than 12 inches. But I just want to let you know, if you're thinking about getting one for your kids or something, they're not a good animal for kids. They can't handle all the screaming and poking and prodding. They're very calm. They need a lot of calm. We got that calming music going on. The baby lullabies that Kelly used to play for her son, Riley. And it's super important to have them in a kind, loving, caring place. Not that children aren't kind and loving and caring, but they're wild. And he doesn't need any wildness, right, buddy? Just nice and calm. Like right now, he's super, super skittish because he's, he was lived his first month in a house that was wild. So we're we're saving this little guy he's going to be with us for a very long time they live for about 10 to 15 years hopefully we have them the whole time we're pretty blessed to have this little feller so keep an eye on us watch us every day on our show monday through friday you'll get to watch him grow up you'll get to see what's going on with the little feller and let's find a name for him let's somebody come up with a name for him you want some more banana buddy come here come on you can have some yeah there you go. Little banana. Little banana. Here. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Little banana. Yeah. All right. So that is our show for today. I hope you enjoyed our new little member of our family. If you guys need anything, feel free to text us. Don't forget to leave us badges or some stars over on there. If you like our shows, if you enjoy our little monkey. And, uh, I will be with you on Monday, and we'll see what's going on with our little buddy. Thanks for joining us today. We need to figure out a name for this guy. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you all Monday. Bye.